So I decided to get back into music after taking a long hiatus. I saw things differently once I got back into music. I saw some of the areas where producers, quite frankly, uh, was getting the short end of the stick. So here it is. You have uh, these different beat promotion platforms, beat websites, and you just think of all the great, you know, the big uh, storefronts that are for beat selling, right? We ain't got to name the actual companies because all the producers know who we're talking about. Mm. More than likely, you got your beats on these platforms, right? And all these platforms are amazing in their own right. But from an innovation standpoint, it can't really be too in a, too much innovation going on if everybody's doing the same thing as far as what what you know from from a surface level service level mm. and what they provide. So producers typically can upload their beats, sell their beats, promote their beats on social media. And, you know, that's pr that's pretty much where the line starts. This business model isn't for everybody because it's not helping everybody. When you think about the little guy who doesn't have a brand, doesn't have much of a social media following, dope as hell when it comes to making beats, pretty much amazing. But th their music is not being heard. In fact, it's being lost in the noise and being tossed aside by algorithms and being placed on a website, taking up server space, but never being heard by the artists that you know they're trying to get their music to and it's unfortunate right so i started to see these things and i started to see wait a minute so producers typically make beats they post them on social media and they they're like hey check out my hot new beat fresh out fresh off the press go check it out here's what producers don't know anytime you post a link on the internet it's going to generate web traffic web traffic is going to go to a web address Right? Mm, right and depending on the web address that it goes to whoever owns that website is able to monetize mm. that's it that's I, I just broke it down in elementary right so watch this <laughs> when you're a producer and you're posting your link on social media and people are clicking on the link you're sending people to a website right the website you're sending people to is a beat store and when you're sending a person to a beat store that person typically is an artist right so when you send an artist to a beat store full of beats and producers and your goal is to get them to listen to your beat, that's not a good plan. Because why? When you send a, kid, a, a, a artist to a beat store, that's like sending a kid to a candy store. Mm -hmm. They're going to they're gonna listen to all the beats. They're going to want to know who all the producers are. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And chances are they're going to end up buying beats from other producers on the platform. This is what happens. You know, we're posting our beats and... and People click on our, our links, go to the store, and they're buying beats from other producers. Meanwhile, you have producers who haven't sold any beats, and they're paying more in monthly fees than they're actually making selling beats, mm. right? Because their hope is, if I keep if I keep uploading beats, I'm going to get heard. If I keep uploading beats, somebody eventually is going to buy my beat, right? And that ain't always how it happens. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I can keep, I can keep going if y'all want to... If Ask me a question or something, but we we'll, we'll get. Oh, deeper this into is it. intriguing. You're, you're you're talking about the we're doing promotion for these big companies, and we're not getting anything for it. Like you're working without knowing you're working, you're getting nothing for your work. That's exactly what I'm talking about. So as the these companies literally don't even have to pay for advertisement because we're the working force. We are the promotional push. We're the walking billboard, if you will, because we're out there in droves aggressively posting our links. And every time you post a link, it's sending more traffic to the main you know, domain, the main website. Meanwhile, you're trying to get eyeballs and ears on your music, and this way is just not effective for you. So let me show, share with you how we fix this. I partnered with some brilliant gentlemen, my business partners, um, and I was in the process myself of trying to figure out a way to create a platform myself that would create more opportunities for producers to make money with their music. But then I stumbled across information from other people and then i start to see other people putting similar platforms together and that's how i found my business partners who i who i rock with today brilliant right mm. and so i said well wow man this is something this is something amazing this is exactly what i envision it's already here why don't i partner with these folks and you know do all i can for my end to take this to the next level because they already got it this is amazing right so that's what we did and so we created a platform 
that's different on many levels. First of all, on any other major beat selling platform, and we never knock any platform, they're all great in their own way. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to innovation, we the kings. Let me tell you why. So <laughs> um, um, I'm just saying, though, on major platforms, you, you basically going to upload your beat. You're going to upload your beat. And then your job is to go out to social media and promote it. Right. And you don't make us you don't make any money until your beat sells, period. Right. Mm. On our platform, it doesn't work that way. When you upload your beat into the beat store website marketplace and you go out there, you start promoting your link and someone clicks on your link, right, to go check out the beat you're promoting. And for some odd reason, this probably doesn't happen a lot to y'all because y'all dope producers, but for the people who are not that good, for some reason, they don't like your beat, <laughs> right? <laughs> and they go buy a beat from another producer, right? right? On any other website, you just lost money, you lose an opportunity. But on our website, if someone clicks on your link, they go to your website, they check out your beat, they don't buy it for whatever reason, they look at some other producer on the same platform, they buy their beat, you still get paid. Mm. This is called a game changer, right? What? This is called a game changer. So at the same time where you're not missing out on money, at the same time, you're promoting for another producer. So when you go to any other beat promotion platform, when you post the link, you're not only promoting your music, you're promoting every other producer on the platform. Because every time you send a body to a website, they're going to shop around. They're going to look around, especially when the company is doing such a great job making sure they do that. Right. Because the company says, yeah, I get it. You want to post your link. You want them to check out your beat. But we're spending bread. We're spending the bag, make sure this website is beautiful and that it helps people navigate exactly where we want them to go. Right? Because the end, the end game for us is the sale. Right? Our bottom line at the end of the day. So as producers, we got to cover our bottom line. Our platform, opposed to other major platforms that pays one way or two ways, our platform pays nine different streams of income to music producers. So not only are you able to get paid hold on, hold on, hold on, with hold on. other beats. Did you say yeah. nine? Nine. Nine, man. Nine different streams of income. And we I'm about to tell you, we just added three. I'm gonna save that for so, the last because so hold on. Here. So is it twelve yeah. or is it nine? Well, when we add them together, it, our total is twelve because oh, we, we had we had nine primary ways that producers uh, uh, can make money on this site with their music, but then we just added a new innovation that made it three more. And I'm gonna explain this because this one thing we just added is revolutionary. And producers are going to get so excited when they hear this. And I'm just happy that I could be a vessel to share the information. And y'all going to want to be a vessel to share, the, to share the information too, because this right here changes everything, changes everything, right? So, so watch this. So not only are you able to get paid when people buy beats from other producers on your website, but think about this. When people visit beat stores, what happens is those companies offer other things like upgrades and uh, sample packs and drum kits and all these other things and memberships that give you more access and more perks. And the companies usually break in all that dough, right? You right. still posting links trying to sell a beat, right? And the beat selling is going to be based on, first of all, the audience that you're peaking. Because a lot of times as producers, we don't really consider these things. Like we just set our prices, but we really don't understand who our market is and who's already paying attention to us and what their budget is. You got to understand the market that you're trying to pitch to and you got to understand where they are. Because if you're trying to sell a Mercedes Benz to people who are looking for a Toyota, you ain't going to get no sales, <laughs> right? But that's what's, that's what's happening. If you're playing Snoop Dogg at a at a country wedding in Nashville, you know, fuck where you Snoop, Snoop, <laughs> well, Snoop Dogg might be able to make it. You know what I'm saying? Snoop Dogg <laughs> might be able to make it. If somebody else, you might have you, DJ, be like, they can be like, who hired the DJ? So it's about putting the right message in front of the right people, right? And a lot of times as producers, we don't always do that because, man, producers, we be we worried about how good our music sounds. We trying to be the dopest, most innovative, illest producer to ever touch a FL Studio doll. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Or And that's, that's our major focus, right? Because at the end of the day, we believe in ourselves that our music is so dope that that's what's going to help us penetrate all the noise. But in reality, there's a lot of dope producers, man. There's yeah. a lot of dope producers. There really is, a lot. man. And when you go to these other websites, right? Like, let's say I go to one of the bigger name websites. 
there's always a certain pool of producers that are always promoted by the website. So it kind of seems like maybe the smaller guy is just going to be overlooked and will stay overlooked because the, the, the website knows who, what's selling, knows what's hot. So they promote those people. And, a lot, and sometimes um, those, those producers pay for promotion because you can pay for promotion on these websites, which is another innovation, which is another thing that gives them the advantage because not every producer can do that, right? Mm. But I'll, fa- I'll skip the line. I'll skip the line and tell you about a feature on our website that makes us unique. We have something called Beat Battles on our platform. So on our actual beat promotion platform, producers can compete in beat battles for cash prizes, right? We got something right now going on called the same sample challenge where you're gonna take a sample and flip it. The best uh, flip, grand prize is $1,000. Second prize is 250, right? So we have these cash uh, prizes, some be like 50 bucks, some be like 30. It just be all the time. Right. And you're competing. And we have a like almost like a social media environment in this beat battle page section on our website where you can actually vote on the beats. So if you're a member of the platform, you can cash your vote and it's on a point system. So it's not like this beats the best and this beats not. No, it's actually a point system where they ask you, hey, how was the mix? How was the creativity? What did you think about the? T- and it gives you points. So based on what beat scores the most points, actually wins that vote. And there's a comment section below. You can talk. You know, give your opinion on a beat. So it creates community on a whole nother level. Mm. But check this out. Just by casting your vote, every time you casting your vote and your producer, what happens is it adds uh, ad impressions. So what happens every time a producer votes on another beat battle, banners ads go up across uh, prime locations on the website that promotes your beat profile. So every time you vote, you get more ad impressions. And every time you vote, those ad impressions, they, they, uh, it posts banners across different various locations on the website so people can click on them and it'll, pro- it'll send them to your beat profile. And that's not anything you got to pay for, right? You just got to take part in the beat battle. You know what I mean? But imagine being able to be on the front page of our website without paying anything. So when artists come, you first being seen, and all you did was vote for a beat battle. Mm. You didn't pay anything out of pocket. So check this out. You get you earn, of course, it's just standard. It's just standard, but you earn a hundred percent of the profit uh from, from your beats. So whatever you selling your beats for, that's determined by you. You can upload your beats to the platform and you make a hundred percent. That's standard everywhere. But your customer, when they buy uh, produce, when they buy beats from other producers, you earn a thirty percent kickback, right? The producer who made the beat gets the lion's share, of course, but you get a thirty percent kickback because now what you've done is you've introduced that producer's beat to your network, mm. a network he wouldn't have access to, by the way. But you're acting as what we like to call his digital street team. And that's what we're building with beat promoters, the digital street team, because now if you're the only person responsible for promoting your music, it just means that you're not over here with beat promoters and we getting ready to change that, right? So <laughs> your beat sales, just real tough, right? So your beat sales on, on, the, on the marketplace, because you got the beat store marketplace, like every other platform, but then you have the pro store. So we have the beat store marketplace. And when your beats sell in the beat store marketplace as a, as a producer, it's a 60% profit, right? But 30% goes to whoever referred the beat. Because now on our platform, people are incentivized to share your beats. Now you're looking at it, and this is how we're helping. See, as producers, we got to think more along the lines of a business. Because now, not only do you have access to make money with your own beats, you have an entire warehouse catalog of music that you can earn from, which gives you more opportunities to make music or make money. Let me tell you why. If you're a trap producer, for example, and you're on social media, everybody's on social media these days, and somebody inbox you, hey, man, I like your beats, man, but I ain't really no trap artist. I'm R&B. You make R&B beats? And what you saying? Uh, not really, man. I, I, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm trap is my lane, you know what I'm saying? But I could try to make R&B. Nah, I need that real R&B, right? So you just missed the opportunity, right? But on our platform, because of our playlist feature, if an artist comes to me and I make drill, and they want pop, I can make an entire playlist of pop beats from my website, from other producers who specialize in pop beats, and then send it to their artists. And whatever beat they just, they select or purchase, I get paid. Mm. The producer who made the beat gets paid even though they had nothing to do with the transaction. 
They might be sleeping in bed, making money based on what I'm doing. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it creates a community. See, we got to keep it real. A lot of times on other platforms, there's no real cohesive energy going on. It's like every man for himself because it has to be that way. I'm not incentivized by helping you. It sounds good to help to help you, but if I'm not incentivized, chances are you're going to take the back seat if there's something more prominent that I'm facing in my business, right? I want to help you, but if I got to take care of this, this is going to be... But see, when you start incentivizing people to do something, for some reason, just more action start taking place. I don't know what it is. It might be the money. I don't know. I'm just saying, right? Mm. So, yeah, so yeah, here's another it thing. Might be. <laughs> might be. <laughs> so, so check this out, though. Alongside the marketplace, because I'm just showing y'all how you get paid as a producer on, in the marketplace, uh, right? But also you get what's called a pro store. Now, here's a game changer that was the game changer of all game changers when we introduced it a couple of months ago, a couple of months back, right? You get your own pro store. And what this allows you to do, it allows you to white label the entire website catalog. This is what gives you access to all the music. So check this out. Not only are you a producer who has their own innovative sound and, and music catalog, now you have all the music from all the producers who are on the platform and all the producers who, producers who will continue to discover and upload beats to the platform as well. You have all their music in your web store catalog that you earn from. So producers that are on any other main uh, beat store, and I ain't going to mention no names because y'all already know who they are, Imagine if that B store that you're on, suppose you're on the number one. We all know which one is the number one, the, the number one B store out there. Suppose they came to you one day in the email and said, hey, look, not only can you sell your beats in the platform, but any other beat throughout our entire network of producers, anytime one of those beats sell, you also get a cut too. Can you imagine that, right? Again, more yeah. opportunities to make money. So now you have your pro store, which when your beats are so direct, you get 100% of the profits, right? But now you can totally brand it to your liking. Like, for example, my guys here, you can have the Rebel Talk Radio Beat Store and have your logo, your splash page, and everything that you're looking to fill. And now it's your official beat store, and your beat store doesn't look like everybody else's beat store on the platform, making you more undiscoverable, Right. So now you have your own look and feel. So now when when anytime you share your beat store with artists and any beat that's bought, you get their 30% uh, uh, profit share or your kickback, and you get 100% of the profit from any of your beats that sells. Now here's the, the strongest thing about the pro store. You can, When you help other producers, right? Other producers know other producers. When you help other artists, other artists know other artists, get set up on their own unique beat store, you earn 20% of all the revenue generated in their B store. Mm. You get a 20% kickback. So as they're selling their own beats in their B store, as they're selling other producers beats in their B store, any activity going on in that B store, you get a 20% kickback because you refer that producer or you refer that member, right? Mm. But when that producer comes back to you and says, man, I really love this setup, bro. Man, but I, I got a friend in the studio the other day. I showed him my website. He want to know how he can be put on, right? So he puts his friend on. Now you referred the friend too. So now you get 20% of all the revenue generated in your first friend who you re referred to the site. But now his friend is on the site too. And you get 10% of all the <laughs> revenue generated in his beef store. So now what you've done is you created leverage. See, we're going to learn about leverage income. Leverage income, for those who don't know, um, that's how the sound, that's how the Waltons get paid anytime you go to Walmart at 2 o'clock in the morning to get a tube of ice cream and a PlayStation controller. They don't care what you're buying, right? Because when, you know, you when you go to Walmart, you already got to buy something random along with what you really came yeah, for, right? 100%. But, <laughs> man, bag of chips. Fucking, you know bag of chips. <laughs> It's a strategy, the way they got it set up. They put everything right, convenient for you, even though you don't need it. But the point is, while the, the Waltons are chilling on their yacht somewhere in the south of France, they, they don't know who you are, what you bought. All they know is uh, it's more money in the bank account. You understand what I'm saying? And it could have been 25 cents from your purchase times all the other customers that are going to shop there throughout the weeks and the months. This is leverage, right? 
leverage is a beautiful thing for producers and musicians because leverage is what can help you take you off your job so you can focus primarily on your craft. A lot of times when we have the burden of reality and life and work and bills, it affects our music creativity. Would y'all agree? Yeah, 100%. In a, in a good way and a bad way, though. Sometimes it, you create the best music when you're stressed, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You create the best music when there's a whole lot going on. Yeah. So, so uh, check this out, though. Speaking of re- speaking of uh, passive income, you also make residual income on our platform. So w- w- we our our platform we believe in rewarding the people that's helping us build the platform. So a lot of other platforms where the the customer base is building the platform for the business, right? But there's no kickback for the people who are actually building the platform. See, without our beats, there's no business model. I need y'all to understand that. Without your music. There's no business model, right? So if you're help, if you're bringing the customers, you're building the business. Right. That's just on a rudimentary level. If you're bringing the customers, you're building the business. So when you bring customers to our platform, as you see, we pay you handsomely, but we want to make sure you earn residually, right? So when customers for for producers, for example, every producer that you help get set up on the platform, they start uploading their beats and they become members. You earn forty percent of their monthly membership. So every time they pay for their monthly membership. The company pays you a kickback residually. So this is something that grows as you introduce more people. And I want to let y'all know something, man. The innovation of this platform, they all coming. I'm just going to keep it. I ain't gonna, I'm not even going to hold you. I'm just telling you the truth. Look, <laughs> what you want to do is get in front of the wave. You want to be the person mm-hmm. who masters the information. All right? You ain't got to master it tonight. But take what I'm giving you and then do your research. Master it. Become an expert and then teach all the people who are getting ready to come through the door. So when they come through asking questions, they're like, hey, what about this? What about this? What about this? Hey, this, this, that, and the other. Now you're the authority. This is just positioning yourself, right? Just position yourself. So you get 40% of all the monthly membership revenue generated throughout your entire network, right? That's called the monthly subscription referrals. Let me ask you one question, man. Uh, one, one question uh, regarding um, kickbacks on beats when when they don't buy your beat. Say someone doesn't buy my beat, right? They go to somebody else's page. He gets a hundred percent of his his beat sale. But where does that kickback from thirty come from? He only gets a hundred. He only gets a hundred percent of his beat sale if he sells to the customer directly himself. Okay. Nobody had any. Nobody else had anything to do okay. with it. This was a direct sale from him to the customer. But if I say, hey, dy. Hey, you don't you don't like my beat customer? Hey, check out DY's beat. I just told this customer about DY's beat. This customer would have known nothing about DY's beat if it wasn't for me. He didn't like my beat. He said my beat's trash. I said, well, check out DY. He loved DY's beat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And he bought from DY. Because I did the work, I deserve a kickback. You see what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, I see. That. And DY appreciates it because that's a 60%. He's getting the lion's share, but that's a 60%. A commission that he's going to get from his music that he never would have seen if it hadn't been for my efforts. Facts. All right. And I'm going to con- I'm going to continue to do this for him. So he's going to he's already making his own sales by himself, right? But I'm just adding on. I'm pouring gasoline on his fire by bringing him customers that he wouldn't have access to because they're in my network. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. When I, when I promote on my social media and they go to the beat store and find his music, they got there by way of my promotion. And my marketing efforts. The record industry artists have moved forward as far as far as how they monetize their music. Producers are still stuck in the stone ages, the ice ages. We still selling our CDs and tapes out the trunk, right? Mm. We're changing that with our technology because just like artists stream their music, producers can stream their beats. So on our platform, not only do you get paid for your beat sales and all the various ways I just showed you, but you get paid when people play your beats. You get paid when people hit the play button. You start to generate and stream and get paid from ad revenue on our platform. So not only, so all those hours that people are listening to your beats, writing their songs, freestyling, listening, because artists listen, go to beat stores all the time, just hit play on all the beats they like. All this music producers have created, artists can go and just listen to whatever they want to and not pay for nothing and enjoy and consume the music. That don't happen 
on any other you know music store website without there being some type of component in place where there's monetization happening. You see what I'm saying? So your music's already being used for free. We just don't understand, just like the record companies didn't understand what was happening with the streaming era being ushered in. So now on our platform, again, when somebody hits play on your beat, you're earning income before you even sell anything. So if they come to your website and, and just listen to your whole catalog and don't buy nothing, you still got paid. Right now, I think Spotify is like, what, 0 0.04? Three to four or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's something. It's very small per stream. I mean, it's like zero 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 point one or some shit like crazy. <laughs> as as of now, ours is zero point three three. It's not bad, way actually. way more, way more. Oh, that's that's insane. So zero if you understand three three. Yeah, that's so, fucking and that's huge, bro. And that and that and that's liable to change as we grow. And the whole thing is like, y'all remember, here's the thing. This is a brand, this ain't never been done before. This is a brand new concept. Producers don't get streams, <laughs> checks for their beats. I'm going to tell you something that Spotify, Shopify ain't doing, that we're doing. Not only, this, 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 this is true innovation. Nobody's doing this, but we doing, we crazy, right? Not only are you going to get paid for your direct streams happening on your beat store music player, when it's an artist is writing to your beat and hit play, you're, you're, you're earning income, you're generating income while they're sitting there writing a song. Mm. Crazy, right? Mm. But you also get paid on the network streams. So watch this. This like I told you at the beginning. When other people decide to become members of the platform through your link, you get paid monthly, 40% of their monthly membership. Our membership is $14.99 a month, $15 a month, which is less than all our competitors, right? But and when they pay for you get 40, right? You get paid, you get paid 40% of the monthly membership. So every time the customer pays their 15 bucks, you get six dollars. These numbers are huge, right? If y'all understand, if y'all look at some of the other competitors, it's not even close, right? But now with the streaming, you get paid for your direct streams. But all of your members who are streaming and all of the people who are streaming from their players, you get a kickback from that as well. Mm. So you could have a hundred B stores streaming simultaneously and all of them are earning you in income. Simply because of so the every, way that simply because of the way that you promoted the other the other art the other producers. So right. So if a, if a, if if for example if if I tell DY, yo man, look, let's set up your B store, right? And he's promoting his B store, and people are in his B store because he posted it on Instagram, and now you got artists going to his B store and they're listening to the beats. DY is getting paid for every stream, and I get paid as well because I refer DI's B store. I get a kickback. Mm -hmm. I get the smaller kickback. DY gets the bigger kickback because it's his store. But because we're in partnership and he's branched from me, I'm the person responsible for bringing him to the platform. I get a kickback. So now I'm able to leverage my streams on top of the streams that I'm getting direct. This is this is this is unheard of. They don't they don't do this for anybody anywhere else. But this is something we're going the extra mile for producers. Now, as far as artists, art, what, what's unique about our B store as well is that it's attracting artists. And it's attracting people who are not even producers or artists. We have people on our platform that are just fans of music that are promoting these producers. This is why we're building the digital street team. This is how beat promoters came into place because people just wanted to promote dope music. And now they're able to earn and get paid to share beats. Now all the, now all the trouble of not having enough people to listen to your beats is done away with because now you got an army, you got other people now going out promoting your music. You're always going to get the lion's share because you're the producer, right? But that 30% kickback becomes big once you start thinking about all the opportunities where people can listen to your music and share it. Listen to your music and share it. Now you're getting exposure in places that you wouldn't get it usually because now there's more outlets of distribution. The other thing we got to recognize, man, this is something that the record companies have already been doing. It. It's called distribution. All we're talking about right now it, we're just talking about distribution. Yeah. Somebody yeah. said. Somebody yeah. said. Somebody. Somebody said like a pyramid without the scheme. <laughs> <laughs> that's blue eyed. 
Well, that's a good. That's yeah, a good. Man. That's a good thing to say. Like, what what differentiates it from being a pyramid scheme? Just one. Since it was said, you know, a pyramid scheme fundamentally is when there's all when there's a value going all the way to the top that doesn't trickle to the bottom, but all the people on the, on the floor are putting everything in. So if you want to, if you want a real example of a, of that, you you probably want to look at. Mm, I don't know if I want to say that, but I put it to you like this because I, I don't. Y'all can just guess what I was going to say, but yeah, fundamentally that just means that there's a lot of value coming from the bottom. Everybody's putting something in, and all the value is going to the top. And the people at the top usually are the ones who run away with all the benefits, and the people at the bottom are stuck with nothing. Right now, a, a, a pyramid is just any structure that you see that's corporate level, government church everything has a hierarchy right the thing you want to ask yourself is where are you placed in it a lot of times most of us are at the bottom of the hierarchy and that's why we always struggle with things like leverage income wealth residual income because these principles are not taught to us in school and usually when somebody else off the streets pretty much just tells us whatever they think they know it confuses a lot of people about what the real deal is and that's why the wealthy stay wealthy and the poor stay poor it is just the right information facts i stumbled on um jones on the beat on instagram and to me he kind of gave me the impression that he's about the community everybody that rocks with rebel Tide radio you already know we all about the community based off of all the things that we you know we try to do for the community and constantly giving y'all knowledge and things like that so when i when i seen this dude i was like man he seemed like he about the community too it only makes sense to to talk with the guy and see what he's about and when he showed us what he was about that shit blew my mind i'm like man that's that's like a uh it blends in well with what we're doing because we're all a part of the same community here and it essentially sounds like to me that all these guys are trying to do is get everybody paid and working in unison with one Facts. another. You know what I'm saying? Working as a team, um, regardless of how much, obviously if you put in more effort, you're going to see more reward. You know what I'm saying? It depends on how much you really believe in um, what's going on here. And if you're really about the community and getting other people that you recommend paid to just for being a producer, things like that. Um, I think it's, it's uh, extremely revolutionary in my humble opinion. Yeah, yeah, and I want to make sure I mention that for artists, like I said, there are people who are getting involved, getting involved with our B store who typically wouldn't. Like when you think B stores, you just think, okay, this is for producers. But artists are joining our B store as members because as artists, there's some perks for you as well. So when you think about going to buy beats online, you could just pick any one. I'll give an example. If you uh, go to B store A, right, and you spend a hundred dollars on beats, you're gonna pay a hundred bucks. But when you come to our platform and you spend a hundred dollars, you're going to get 30 back. So you're only going to spend mm -hmm. 70. So when you come to our platform, based on how this conversation works, you're able to get a 30% kickback from not only the beats that are bought from your store, but even the beats that you buy from your store. So you're never paying full price. It's like getting a, a permanent 30% discount. Another thing too, is when you come on, you sign up, you get 10 free beats out of the gate. And when you become a member, you get a free beat every month and you get to take part in the streaming technology innovation. One of the benefits, one of the major benefits of our platform as well is that we have Beat Promoters Radio. And so when you come on and you sign up, this ain't happening nowhere else, by the way. But when you join our platform, you start uploading your beats. We're going to play it on our radio station. Mm. Right. And we're going to promote it and we're going to bring you on to be interviewed. And talk to you about your music, your vision, play some of your music, talk about what your latest projects are. We're going to include you because we're building community. You look at Rebel Talk Radio, platform, community, likability, trust, organization, association, <laughs> events, attraction. And as they continue to get on here every day, every night, it's going to get bigger, bigger, snowball effect. And now, and now all of a sudden, they wanted them ones. They wanted them ones. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Consistency. We I, we here to really, you know what I'm saying, shine light on the platform. I wanted to, you know, share that a little bit. But uh, I want to make sure that they know that anybody who wants to look into this deeper, who wants to take advantage of this this platform, that you guys are going to have your own Rebel Talk radio store that all your community can go and sign up, 
become a producer on the platform, become an artist on the platform, uh, a beat promoter on the platform, and then come over to our platform once you've signed up with Rebel Talk Radio and allow us to educate you on how to really maximize everything. The one thing we don't want you to do is just sign up and then just start uploading beats. Because if you do that, you might as well just stay you know, using the beat store that you're using because you're not taking advantage of this thing completely. And we don't want you to do that. We want to make sure you squeeze every piece of juice out of the rag. You feel me? Mm. <laughs> and we'll make sure you get everything that you that you deserve to get. And that just come with understanding. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. Well, I appreciate y'all sure, having yeah, sure. me on, man. Yeah. And having me on the platform. Um, you know, I look forward to our partnership. And anytime y'all need me to come back to break down more about the platform, because there's a lot more developing. I can come back, give updates on what's going on with the platform. Y'all feel free to reach out, let me know. And y'all got me. 100%, man. Jones yeah. on the beat. I want to yeah. give you a round of applause, my guy. Um, make sure y'all tune in. When you start uploading your beats, you guys get with Rubber Talk Radio. Join the platform and start uploading your beats. We actually play, again, we play your beats on Beat Promoters Radio. We do this on IG on my page every Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. Central. So when you start uploading your beats, man, you're more than likely going to start hearing your beats played on our station. All right, man. Appreciate the family. Shout out to uh, the whole Rebel Talk Radio community, whole family, man. You know, y'all link up. Well, I'll be back on the show, man. That had me back, man. Appreciate it once again. I holler at y'all, man. It's all love. Absolutely. Salute, Jones. Stay blessed. All right, peace. Rebel Top, Rebel Top. Huh? Hey, y'all run on about the Rebel Top. Let go. Rebel Top, Rebel Top, Rebel Top. Rebel Top, Rebel Top, Rebel Top. Ooh, better watch out when the metal cock. And hear the sound of the hammer drop. Ooh, bop, 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 bop. Hey, Rebel Top, Rebel Top, Rebel Top. Ooh, till we at the top, we gon' never stop. Still making your head go lean rock. Hey, rebel top talk to the street now. Anyone my way getting beat down. I be from a street where they squeeze rounds. So everybody wanna talk about me now. Make the sit when you pee, but you see down. Jump along, no motherfucking tree down. Go hit it lit, there's a green light. Wanna know this band if you don't know what it be like. We right here. I'm finna ride like a swing. Better day gon' let me in. Windows down when I spin. Your bitch air blow in the wind. Why they hating on me? Cause all of this money I spend. All of this paper I see. Okay. I bet you yeah, we gon' win. Rebel Talk Radio. We be the boys with the crazy flow. Act like you didn't know. What you mean? Here we go. My job, I got range. When it hits you, you ain't walking the same. Hey, no and we not gonna aim. Huh? Been a trip like I hopped on a plane. Say no names and it won't be no thing. And we ain't gonna change. I just got the thing. Walk a flock of flame. Not the same. Pull up in a phantom. Billy Zane. That goes down, I really move. Huh? Pull up a skirt, how I really do. Lay fold down when I finish shoot. Like Clark Kent when I'm in the booth. We outside, I'm a side. Got the Nina on my side. Rebel talk, that's the vibe. You can see it in my eye. Now we about to break the bank. Rolling ninjas like a tank. Like a opera with the chopper. Let it sing, bitch. What you think? Rebel top, rebel top, rebel top. Ooh, better watch out when the metal cop. Been to hear the sound of the hammer drop. Hey, rebel top, rebel top, rebel top. Ooh. Till we at the top, we gon' never stop. Still making your head go lean rock. Go ba 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 ba. Go ba 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 ba. Go ba 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 ba.